Hi everyone, I just wanted to share a really quick project with you. Uh, this is my altered muffin tin, and this tin is for artistic creations, a swap, and my swap partner was Tracy. Uh, so I think the actual swap was a candy box swap, or something similar to that, but her and I, well she decided um, that we'd swap an altered muffin tin instead. So she asked for a shabby, shammy muffin tin. I have to say that I really, really struggled with this because I'm not really um, the shabby girl. I I like to think, well, shabby to me is um, whites and creams. So um, yeah. I struggled a bit trying to um, put things into this project that only had those colours um, apart from the base paper and that and um, the goodies that I've added so I'll take some of the stuff out just to um, show you in, in detail um, I first of all I painted all of the uh, tin pink, that was the base coat and then I went over that with um, some some white white gesso uh, and then I sporadically uh, stamped in areas I also did a little bit of uh, masking with some texture paste um, I went right around the edge with a uh, I distressed all of the edges and I went all the way around, all the way around, sorry, this stuff out, with uh, some flat back pearls. Um, I did the back as well, so that's just painted as well. I used a Kaiser Craft stamp and then I went over the top with um, some, some Mod Podge. So that's a back. Now I've just stuck these little flowers in there. But I've got a thing about uh, wire. So originally I, I cut out a whole piece of wire and I had it cut so that it went across there and then up there and only had these pieces um, of the cupcakes where the goodies go uh, cut out. And because I had already adhered my paper down, there was nothing to hold it there. And I'm not really that type of person that um, does a lot of embellishing on my projects. They're quite plain. Uh, so I ended up cusping, cutting them apart from each other and cusping the wire to fit in around um, my little displays. And, the, and I have to say that I really, really like the way that it's turned out yeah, and the a look that I've achieved. So, and my bottom one is just some Prima resins. I've got a little bottle in there with some music paper, which is actually upside down. I noticed that later. Um, it's got some beads, beaded spray in there. Um, underneath all of these um, little, little. Um, shadow areas I've got um, doilies under them and I had three different types of doilies this one is a doily from Kimmy you Kimmy and a doily I cut out of a big tablecloth I think this one I got from Brenda I think so thank you for that um, another Prima resin piece that I've gone over top with um, a bit more paint. Got some iron roses in there, just some braid. And the top I've got, um, I've got a mould. I made that mould, that hut. Um, and a little uh, flower resin piece with some pearls and a clear crystal piece there. And just some trim. I've adhered a couple of these trims down. I might adhere that one as well. But ultimately at the end of it, I'd be sticking pictures. 
um, in hanging it up on the wall or something. So I really like the way that it's come out so hopefully um, Tracy will like it too. Um, my other swaps are just um, ATC swaps, uh, shabby bird cages, yeah, and I like the way these have turned out as well. Um, and I like the wiring, and I like the Im imperfection of the wiring. I did a mixed media type style ATC card. Um, and the last one I was involved in was the uh, file folders, which um, I got out my gelatos, did some dry embossing, some purple and then some yellow. Two different purples, two different yellows, and then I did a journal type entry style for the for the inner. So and I like the shimmer that these uh, give off as well. Um, this one I used uh, some uh, some material uh, muslin. I went over top. I modged, podged it onto the cardstock, went over with some paint and white, whitewashed it, I uh, got some gelatos around the edging, and then I've just whitewashed the inside, and I had um, stamped it underneath it so that it will come through the paint, so that's that one, and the last one we had to do three of these, uh, just a textured grungy file folder, um, I think I used a Kaisercraft uh, mask with some texture paste on top and then the inside I just painted and I've got um, some layered up papers in here as well. So yeah, not so bad. So that completes my swaps and really excited, only seven days to go till uh, Sharon and I fly to America. We'll be flying into San Fran, so hopefully um, New Zealand brings home the America's Cup. So go Team New Zealand, and hopefully we'll catch the tail end of the celebrations there. Okay, please leave me a comment. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.